dress photo shoot like for real. Good morning! Thank you for answering today's call, y'all. Look a mess. I literally just took the bonnet off my head. But I haven't vlogged in some days and I'm ready to come back to y'all. I need to take these boxes downstairs, but I just I mean I gotta get my wagon out of my car because I am not about to just carry that down. Or I could put it in my car, but I just need the wagon. Anywho, it is around 10 a.m. Been up for about two hours now. And I have not been vlogging because I left my camera in the car and I've just been being lazy to get it. But y'all, my birthday is coming up. <laughs> my birthday is December 3rd. And so I have to plan for it in November because by the time of December, baby, it's in two days. A lot of people's birthdays, well, I mean, people's birthdays every time, all, all times of the month. But I was going to say, people's birthday who's like on the 20-something of a month or the end of a month, you kind of can plan in your actual birthday month. Me, I can't plan it my birthday. I have to plan like the, the month before pretty much. And even if I'm trying to go out of town, you gotta plan months before that that day. So yeah, this year I'm turning 21 and I will be staying in America, maybe. I don't really know, I really don't want to, but if I don't, I won't be paying for it. Cause I'm paying for the whole thing here. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really know, but we're gonna really see how that goes. Um, I didn't want to have my bonnet on in the video this morning because I always do. So I want to give you guys something. I did a quick wee mommy last week. It should be in my last vlog. But, and I never curled it because I was supposed to curl it. It's supposed to be like, you know, curled and stuff. But it's jet black. I tried to dye my hair jet black, but it didn't go. It's still dark brown. So, I might have to dye my hair jet black with some box dye or something. But Ava said if I ever want to lighten my hair, it's going to be a pain in the booty to do that. So, I don't really know what I'm going to do with the jet black. We're going to go, I don't know. I don't know. We won't go to somebody who specializes in color. But yeah, I'm making me breakfast right now. I'm making my everyday avocado toast and eggs and fruit on the side. Yesterday I ate rice with it though. And I haven't done my dishes in like two days. So I gotta do my dishes. But my birthday is super expensive and it just made me get into the mood of like, I need to work more. I have really been chilling like all year. All this year I haven't been like going really hard and. I don't like to force myself to do things that I don't want to do. So I haven't really been tripping and I've still been surviving and living. So it's not like terrible. But now I'm more focused on like me internally and I still need to work and I am going to work because I got a new phone. I bought that last week as well. My last vlog. And yeah, so I bought a 15 Pro so that I can get really good quality and I bought a terabyte of the phone. I'm about to decorate today. Today I'm going to be decorating my um, foyer. No, that's not a foyer. What is this called, y'all? This is a dining room, but I'm not using it as a dining room. So I moved out all the boxes. I had a hell of planners over there and I moved them into the office. And so now I have to get all the stuff open, open all the stuff and decorate over there. So I will be showing you guys that. But first, excuse me, I didn't want to eat breakfast and get some energy in my body, take my supplements and all of that. I've been eating healthy for four days, four days. We strong for four days. Y'all better be glad because y'all better be proud of me because that takes a lot because i really crave like sugar i love sugar and so i'm trying not to eat it until my birthday this avocado is brown y'all i ordered it from instacart i ordered it from instacart and i told him one ripe meaning one ready to go and the rest should have been like not ripe yet it don't taste weird so i'm gonna eat it <laughs> when they taste weird that's when i'll be like Ugh. I don't know. And it's like this specific feeling. If you, got, if you eat avocados, you know what I'm talking about. If you ever ate a bad avocado. But if you don't eat avocados, which a lot of people don't eat avocados, then you won't know. I didn't always eat avocados either. I really just started this when I went into my healthy journey. I'm healthy all the time. Ever since 2021, I've been on and off of my health journey. 2021 was the best time um, health-wise. I was very consistent. But then I ended up going to Jamaica in the end of 2021. Like coming towards the end. It was like August, September-ish. Yeah, it was like August. And we got lost it. So for the first six months, like six or seven months of, six, seven, or eight months. It had to be six. Seven was max. Seven months, I was eating healthy, taking supplements, and I was seeing really good results in my health. And then I went off. And the rest of 2021, I still was good. Then 2022 was decent. I wasn't eating good, but I didn't feel bad in 2022. 2022, I was eating whatever I wanted all freaking year. And... 
it caught up to me this year. So, because, like, my hormones, I don't have regular hormones. I do, but they're just more sensitive to, than other people. So, um, if I eat bad for a whole year, it's going to show. And then if I eat good for a whole year, that next year is going to be great. So, it happens very slow. It's very slow. Like, it's like three months delayed for me. So, like, me eating good for three months, I won't get the results until that, that third month. If that makes sense. Or really see the, but the first results is always I, I sleep better, feel better. I don't be tired. I, and I don't have body pain. Right now, I have body pain. I be tired of shit. Like, taking naps and all that stuff. I don't be needing that when I'm, like, really healthy. So, yeah, y'all. I'm not healthy by choice. I'm healthy because I got to be. If I had like like other people and didn't feel the results of eating bad food, then I would eat bad food, truthfully. Um, until something happened to me, then I realized like, all right. Or if I see the difference, like if I eat good and compare it to not eating good, because everybody like that. If you eat really bad and you think you're not affected, try to eat good for a month or even two weeks. You'll feel better than you do regularly. All right. This breakfast is so easy to cook. And then I'm about to cook eggs. I really need to wash dishes. I have no more. I need to have like one more. <clears throat> Alright, okay. Fuck. I can't wait to decorate right here though. I have more pieces I'm gonna add, but I'm gonna show you guys the first pieces that I'm adding to it today i think i want to do a mirror wall i'll do that like sometime this week which i will see the furniture i got okay i will show you guys my end plate because i've cooked this before on camera so i will show you guys what it looked like at the end and then we're gonna get into things for the day or whatever it might look nasty but it's not let me go to a better light for y'all my avocado like i said was already dark so it's usually not like that it's usually a little lighter but this is it. We got the eggs, the fruit, and the toast. And then I also got my morning concoction, which is Bloom, for my gut health. Right here. It's great. Helps me consistently use the bathroom. So that's my breakfast. I'm going to take my iPad. Watch Netflix. My dog in the cage. Because he's bad. And after this, I also took my pole down. I'm putting a new one up there though. But I took the one I had down. Because it falls too much. And I haven't been on it because I've been scared of it. So uh, when I put the new one up, I'm going to start back doing pole stuff. And then we're going to jump into the big guns. Because I was doing a little girl shit. But now I kind of got that down packed. Like I know certain rules and stuff. Like how to control my body speed. And when it's on spin pole, you need to be closer to the pole. And not far away. So like I know some stuff. But now we're about to get in like doing the, trick, the tricks. My first thing I'm going to do is the inverts. I'm going to try to get that down. That's the one everybody do. So, <sighs> yeah, that should be fun, interesting. And I'm going to practice every day. And maybe, well, not every day, probably not on the weekends or something like that. I don't know. I want. I do want to give myself a break because when I give myself a break, that's when I show the most most growth. But doing it consistent every day with, is also growth too, though. I'll see y'all later because I'm about to eat. And I'm going to change how I look and make myself look a little bit better. And then we're going to decorate. Okay, you guys, so y'all know I've been moving forever. I'm going to name this a movie series because it is. We getting stuff together in this vlog, honey. We getting stuff together in this vlog. Okay, so now it's time to decorate this area of my home. I have not done it since I've lived here. I've lived here since May. So June, July, August, September, October, November for six months now. And I am renewing, so I haven't really been in too much of a rush to try to, like, decorate. But I, I'm almost done. I'm really almost done. I just have to do here. Do my balcony, my bedroom isn't, I just need a new dresser, truthfully, and like put some stuff. Okay, that's besides the point. But today, y'all, we are about to finally decorate right here. I just did my orders and stuff like that. So, yeah. I got three packages from Homery. Where is the other one? So, these is all I got right now. I have to get mirrors and stuff. I really could do that today, but I don't really know. I'm going to start off by sweeping. This is the flow to weeping. And I'm going to sweep it again, but I'm going to just sweep this part. Because there was stuff all right here just now. And then I'm going to go, yeah, I had to sweep over here since probably June. Because this face has never been clear the whole time I've lived here. So, I just want to get a little bit out the way. So let's go ahead and open up 
all of the stuff. I am creating a short form video too, by the way. Thank you, Homery.com, for sponsoring today's video. Homery is a furniture shopping website that has everything you need from outdoor furniture, bathroom fixtures, and home decor. I got a beautiful clothing rack. I love the marble details. It's very sturdy. I added it to my home because I needed somewhere to put my jackets when I came inside, and I love the finish that it gave my area. Next, I decided to get a tall faux plant to add in the corner as well with a mirror, and I love it so much. I love how tall it is. I love how sturdy it is. Again, Homery has very good quality products like this plant. You can tell me it wasn't real. It has fake dirt in it, and I love the black vase that it comes with. It adds the perfect color to this area in my home. I love it so much. And then lastly, I got this perfect tufted adjustable bench. It couldn't have served any better. I literally love it so much. I love the color. It's white. I like that the pillow comes in and out. It just adds a museum look to this part of my home. I'm so happy that I got all of these things. They make my home look so much better. It adds to the ambiance and you couldn't tell me like I'm not living in luxury because I am. You guys can enjoy 8% off using my code SARIA8. There will be more details in the description box. Again, thank you Homery.com for sponsoring today's video. Y'all, I am in love with this new space. I cannot wait to put something on the wall. So I think I do like this over there versus the whole mirror wall. But I'm just not too sure exactly what we're going to do or what we're going to put right here. But it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be something. I don't know. I'm going to have to think. But I love everything. I love that you could really sit here. i probably sit here and read or something. I'm going to just put it down. So nice. I love this little thing. I originally was going to put that on the side and have like the whole mirror wall. But I like this being like kind of the main piece. And I just need something really nice on the wall. I have no idea yet. The mirror wall would still be cute. I don't know, honey. But this is what we got. And I'm in love. I was going to do my balcony, but it's dark outside. So we're going to hit that tomorrow. And my dog's crying. But we have a lot of boxes in here. I am going to take some of these down tonight. And I do also need to go to UPS to drop off my orders. So that's also what I'm about to do. It's 6 o'clock. They close at 7. So we're about to head out now. And you guys, don't forget to check out Homery. Discount codes will be down below. Saria 8 is one of them. And I hope you guys enjoy because I really enjoy the products that they sent me. And, yeah, thank you, Homery, for sponsoring today's video. All right, y'all. So I'm about to take these boxes down. I don't know how I'm gonna do this child, but this stuff gotta go. I got two big boxes in this house. Too many big ass boxes at that. So I'm gonna put all of the ones that can fit inside. Inside. We're gonna do multiple trips, but I don't know if we're doing multiple tonight. Y'all, I missed it. I missed the point of hitting UPS in time. I came right at seven. You know, people be ready to take their ass home. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't that. So, unfortunately, why is my air coming out cold on that side? Shit, y'all, I'm just driving into the camp street. I'm allowed to go on to Twin Peaks to celebrate my loss <laughs> of missing the time. 20 minutes, no such thing. It just happened. Of missing the time frame of hitting UPS in time. So we're about to just go and eat because I've been craving the chicken quesadilla so, so bad. I had it the other day and I can't stop eating it. And we're going to just go to UPS tomorrow and in the um, UP, USPS post office tomorrow. Because I got um, three packages that needs to go to the post office and I also need to open up my P.O. box so I'm going to just do all that tomorrow. So I'm going to do all that tomorrow. Let me put that on my list so I can prioritize that because if I don't put it on here I won't go honey. But 
Yeah, y'all, Black Friday coming up. I don't know this vlog up. I don't know if it's Black Friday time. But I think I'm going to edit this vlog because this is another vlog that has to get edited by my editor. But I think, I think I'm going to edit this vlog. And I also need to figure out, like, what sit-down videos your girl want to do because I like doing my week vlogs, but I kind of want to do, like, sit downs too but i don't know what i want what i do that's like consecutive that's like kind of like a series but i don't know i don't know um, i did want to do a podcast but we're just gonna wait on that we're gonna let that wait a little seconds i know it will be really good but i don't want to do a solo podcast because i ramble and by the end of the time it just won't i don't want i don't want i want a conversation i want a conversational podcast so it's a lot of solo podcasters and i want to do it with somebody else and i think that'll be also a dope thing to do but yeah um not not quite yet and also i do want a new car i'm not gonna get a new car but i want a new car i just don't know what new car i want so i'm not gonna get a new car because i don't even know what car i want so that doesn't even make sense to get a new car i don't even know what car and i'm gonna just be out here looking for a car to get when i don't even want a new car for real because if i want oh slow down oh my goodness if I want a new car for real, I know because when I wanted this car, I knew I wanted this car. I wanted this car. So I'm gonna just get my babe fixed up. Cause she's a little dusty and rusty right now. She, she she's dragging on the street at the bottom of the car. Cause I ran over a curb. And I have a hole in the windshield for over a year now. Um, from a rock hitting it while I was driving. And that should be covered and should be free because that shit happens all the time to a lot of people. Out of nowhere and you there's nothing you could have done to prevent that like nothing why do i have to pay for that type of shit that should that should be free just like how putting air in your tires is free i think fixing a cracked windshield should be free and should come with cars my opinion or come with insurance and it don't make your insurance go high because i feel like if i tell my insurance hey my windshield crack and i get it fixed for however much money they're gonna add that shit on there and they're gonna make my shit go high no my car insurance is gonna be lower too because i'm with usaa i was with progressive progressive ain't it progressive ain't it they raised my junk after six months after the first term and it went up to like seven something y'all that's too damn high so that same day i heard that seven hundred dollars i canceled it and before that i was just stay farm and they they went up to a thousand what in your right mind i'd rather walk i'd rather walk than that i'd get a bike my nigga i'd get a heated bike i don't know what i'd get i'd get something it wouldn't be that i'd get a damn golf cart be driving on the, the golf cart getting tickets because i'd rather pay them tickets and i can't equal that won't equal a thousand dollars a month i just might never be able to drive again but hell i'm gonna pay a thousand dollars a month in a fucking car insurance that's insane so now my car insurance is lower than both of those and after the term it's gonna get lower because you you know you guys know how car insurance companies they tell you like put a monitor in your car or put it on your phone and like they check your speed your brake um all all of that type of stuff i speed and i brake hard i speed and i brake hard usaa was like no we don't do none of that it's just on your phone and we just track um how much you use your phone like if you're on the phone if you're looking at your phone and your brakes they don't do no speed checking that's what i was like and it can't hurt you other insurance companies if you speeding and breaking it say you had to pay 400 dollars car insurance if you get that shit in your car or get on your phone and it's work and it's bad they can raise it up they can raise it up what was the point of me putting that shit in my car i'd rather just have the 400 dollars then now I gotta pay 600 you know what I mean so you USAA it doesn't it doesn't affect you negatively it's either gonna go down or you get zero you get zero change so my rate right now wouldn't go any higher than it is unless I get like accident or something like that but other than that no I haven't gotten no accident or not this is 2020 I've gotten a ticket I don't think I got a ticket in 2022 though did I I don't think so if I did it was one but I think all my tickets are from 2021 but yeah we're about to have a little solo day a little solo sun 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 and I'm gonna pretend like it's me sitting across from me and we're just gonna talk about life and how we feel about life and what we think with everything because i've been really like working on my self-love not to say that i didn't love myself but if you want to be technical i didn't really love myself and you don't either because it's just uh, that's just a deep topic to get into like of course i love myself i won't put myself in harm's way and stuff like that but actually loving on yourself like if you starve yourself all day you don't love yourself because would you starve your kids all day no you wouldn't because you love them and you know that they need to eat you know you need to eat and you should love yourself enough to cook for yourself or go and get yourself some food simple as that that's an example of self-love another thing was like if you don't brush your teeth all day you don't love yourself You're neglecting the fuck out of yourself so i'm working on like really sitting with myself doing a lot of things with myself if i cook i didn't just cook to eat 
I cooked to feed myself. I cooked because I love myself and I wanted to cater to myself and make myself a dinner. The same way you would do something for a guy, do it for yourself. You want to make yourself smile, write yourself a letter and reread it. Like you didn't just write it, but reread it and be like, wow, I actually love myself. And you, and if you do this over time, you will fall so much more in, in love with yourself. I've only been doing it for about five days now and I can feel the difference. Mine is more so for my emotional support. I neglect myself emotionally really bad. Like if something happens to me and it affects me, I look for everybody else to help me with my problems versus helping myself so like if if something happens to you your first instinct is to call your mom or call somebody which call your mom is good but like call somebody else who's not you know and a parent who because that's what parents are for i didn't have that i didn't have somebody to call when something happened to me as a kid so i called like friends and boyfriends and stuff and i put my happiness or making me back happy into them so now i do it myself what exactly what i'd want that person to do that I'm about to call I do it for myself because all I want them to do is agree with me sometimes or tell me what's wrong if I'm wrong or not we're not stupid we are able to see shit and after we're done talk to ourselves and we're back at a common ground our nervous system is back regulated I mean like your heart rate's not up you don't feel some type of anxiety or you don't feel mad or angry or sad or whatever you like more so love it out that's when you can call and get somebody else's POV you know what I'm saying I'm just working on doing it for myself first not to say I'm never gonna talk to nobody about nothing oh that house is nice and put a Christmas tree on the outside. Oh, that's so nice. Wow, I want to do that in my house. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So working on myself and not just doing solo dates, just to like go out alone. Because that's how I thought about it before. Like I'm just going out alone, spending a long time. But now I kind of want to remove the word alone because I'm not alone. It's me and God. But when I think of me, I think of me. Like two of me. Like two. there's two of me. Like me, like me and me. Right now we on the way to Twin Peaks. She's in the passenger seat. We together, listening to music, whatever we're doing. That's what we're doing. All right, you guys. I'm here by myself. But I like Twin Peaks. I used to like Twin Peaks when I was in um, college, but I just came here the other day, and they can't see these are so good. I'm about to do that, and I think I'm going to do um, some desserts. So, yeah. I'm about to have a conversation with myself, so I'll talk to y'all. Hey guys, we're at Twin Peaks and Buckhead. Let's get Liddy for the Twin Peaks. <laughs> well, here you go. Are you waiting Thank for you. somebody? No, I'm by myself. Okay, well, my name is Angel. I'll be your waitress. So, we got really good happy hour drinks. Um, these are our $3.99 shots and our $5 drinks as well. We got margaritas. Hey, I was having a deep conversation just now. I was thinking about, like, how much elevation I've been doing. Eternal, but not eternal. Internal. Internally, a girl has been getting there, like, really, really getting secure. Of course, oh my god, I had to break down really low to get to this point now. Like, 2023 was definitely a mental growth for me. 2022 was behavior growth. 2021 was just a year of all the mistakes you could think of. So, wasn't really much, I don't want to say growth. 2021, I, I did, I made a lot of money growth. I did a lot of monetary things. 2022, I didn't have a business all of 2022. So, that was regular money. It wasn't like nothing crazy. But I definitely was uh, learning. So, yeah, thank you. So, yeah, 2022, we learned behaviors to stop doing it. 2021, I learned that 2021 too. Really 2022. And then, 2020, 2020 don't count. 2020, I was fresh out of high school. Get no shit. Life don't start. If you're in high school, babe, life didn't start yet. Nowhere near. And I was pretty fast in high school. Like, I already was cheating on. I got cheating on in the ninth grade. Um, I did everything pretty early. Like, the things that people are going through now, I went through already. Like, shit with guys, niggas. That's why I have pretty good relationships as of recently. And a lot of people at my age just don't have good relationships. Because they're, they're just now going through those things. So, life did not start, girl. Not quite. Um, and I know I have so much more life to live. Live so much more to endure. And that's scary. But I know it's just life. And that's how it's going to go. And you pretty much write your story. Um, you follow. You either follow the right way. Or you stray away. And it's just a crazy life. So, I would love to go on the path of the life I'm supposed to live. I don't know how to go. Oh, I should have got a side of broccoli. Excuse me. Can I get a side of broccoli? Of course. Yeah. But yeah, you guys, that's what I'm thinking about, and I'm actually happy. I feel pretty good. I don't want to say like extremely happy, but I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. I'm understanding life. I'm understanding my emotions. That's something I've always struggled with, but this is the first time I really am getting it, so that looks good. I'm going to show you guys my food when it comes out. I'm going to keep talking, but I might watch my show. We got our food, honey. 
This is it. Ugh, it looks so good. I cannot wait. I'm making their um real or TikTok. Let me show them. That's hot. Broccoli, honey. It's plain hot. Oh, hot. Oh, it's hot. I already know what it tastes like. I know it's gonna be good. I'm excited. I'm about to put my show on so I can watch my show. Girl, we're about to bust down this food. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Very excited. I'm about to watch my show. Let me see if my AirPods did. I'm gonna say, you, you, you. Okay, guys. I'm done. <laughs> She took mad long to get my service. There's no way I should have been there for two hours getting an appetizer. Not even a meal. An appetizer and a dessert. A warm up of a brownie because I'm sure it's not baked. Chicken quesadillas. You lay out the tortilla and put the shit in the inside and close it. Anyways, it's okay. Restaurants is hit and miss. Woo! Good morning, y'all. I really need to, I don't know, but y'all saw all that. Um, This morning, last night actually, I made this for my mom. And so this is Wednesday and I have calls today and stuff like that. Um, this is today, Thanksgiving, what? That's not today. This is today. I have a photo shoot. Well, I'm trying to do my photo shoot on uh, um, Saturday morning or evening. Um, oh, I'm so excited. First off, let's thank the Lord for the wake up. And um, I have a call at 11, so I woke up late today because I spent all last night on the phone. Well, not all. I was on the phone from 11 to 3. So that's four hours with Ayana talking about We were talking about so much different things. And um, finally went to sleep around 3. And then uh, I woke up at 8, but that was too early for me. So my boyfriend took the dogs out. And then I woke back up at 10.30. So that's like now it's like 10.40. And I have a call at 11 a.m. So I'm about to do my Bible study and journal right here. Because I think this is where I'm going to do this stuff. Do it at. Because I feel like this is a nice place to do it. Like I could just do it like this. Or whatever it is I want to do. This can come up. And I think also I want to put pictures of me. Black and white pictures of me right here. I think two pictures. Boom. Boom of me my favorite pictures and i think i'm gonna use my photo shoot pictures and boom boom right here black and white not color and i think i want to do a definition of me like saria definition of saria and then make some of that i really really like and then put that on my wall so that's what i think i'm gonna do something along those lines either that or quotes i don't know just yet which one i'm gonna do but it's gonna be something so yeah i'm about to get my um no, I think I want to Bible study in my office. Where's my phone? I need a phone to keep track of the time. I'm looking at my business phone because that's the phone I'm going to do call on. That's this new phone I got. It's super cute. It's I always get the blue phones and I keep them the color they are. Like I don't get a colored case for a long time. Probably ever. The only time I did recently was my gold case for my 13 that I got over there. But... We got phone 15 gang. <clears throat> we want terabyte gang, so we should end. I plan on getting my hair done on um Friday evening, 4 p.m. Friday, so y'all gonna see that. It's gonna be my first look for my birthday. It's just my hair, my photo shoot hair. And um, I'll probably keep that in. I'll have that in for Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'll probably have that in for the rest of, the, of November. And then I'll take it out and get my hair done like November 30th or so. That's what I think I'm going to do. And then, and it's going to be my everyday wig. It's it's a 30 inch black wig. And so after I take it off from her doing it, that's going to be my throw on wig, like spray on wig. Because I had another one, but that one is just time to go. That one split ends, which is too, 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 too bad. Yeah, it's 1049. So this is my new journaling book it's messed up because my damn dog but it's not gonna last long because it's very very thin and i journal almost every single day so it'll be good and then this is my soap book he also chewed this shit up my seasons of soap i need to buy a new volume this one has hope faith grace and uncertainty and become holy i did becoming holy months ago like last year so i would love to redo that one but it did help me become a lot holier than i was around that time i'm a lot more connected with god now than i was ever and then right now, right now I'm on Grace, I believe I'm doing Grace. Let me see. Yeah, I'm on Grace day two, and I haven't done it in like four days. So about to go in here. It's just the scripture. Do the scripture, and then you observe 
and then you apply it to your life and you pray. So that's soap, soap method. You don't have, you don't need a book to do this. You do it straight out of the Bible. Uh, don't matter. Just do what you do to get closer and understand the word because understanding the word is how you truly can hear and know God because you don't even know how he sounds or what he'd say. So how can you hear God telling you something if you don't? You know read it and that's something i had to really figure out that's really real so as soon as i'm done with this we're gonna hop on the call and stay on there probably for about 20 to 30 minutes um it's with my social media manager and um yeah we really need to, i really need to talk to her and then i have another call with a assistant slash my email marketer at 2 p.m so that's business stuff if you want to start a business i have an ebook it's down below for you and you can also join my giveaway by doing that so yeah all right guys so first i start off with Bible study and then i journal so it's more so like on a sweeter note sometimes i think i used to journal first and then Bible study i don't know what i'm about to do today i think i'm gonna journal first and then Bible study and see how i feel so peace out you guys i'm about to put on my robe is it too soon y'all for real for real to start wearing christmas house shoes because it's like not even december yet and i was thinking like december 1st be good because i got these from target and they're super cute it says kind of naughty kind of nice because i just haven't been wearing no house shoes i've been wearing like these socks as house shoes in the meantime because house shoes get dirty and old fast i just didn't want that for, my, for myself so. i don't know and i also have a christmas robe i wonder did i keep it because i've been throwing away a lot of shit that i'll be wanting later and be mad yeah i threw it away or at least i don't see it so i don't even have no robe to put on they all is dirty wow Cause I'm cold and I have robes on robes on robes. Let me see. Let me go in my laundry room. Hopefully it's not like in no dirty clothes. Cause I will put it on. It's with it's with dirty um. What's these called? Blankets. So dirty bed. Okay, let me put these. I am up for cold. Too cold. I got a lot of stuff to do today, and I'm leaving here today. So I gotta make sure I get my stuff in. I have to wash my dishes. I haven't washed dishes in like four days. That's extreme. So I had my call with Brit today already. Hey, Mama. In short form, I gotta go to the post office in my PO box, send videos to Dave. Okay. We're good. Tomorrow I have unique and film a day in life. Also, today I need to drop wig off to Ava. Period. But it's time for me to eat breakfast, so. Let's go ahead and make our daily concoction, y'all. Y'all know how it be. We're making our daily bloom. Hopefully you know. If you know, you're a real one. If you don't know, you can get real. So I ain't even gonna say nothing about you, bro. I'm back with the spring water. We're done with the tap, the tap, the filter tap. Cause I wanna try something similar to a 75 hard. I know them challenges. I was talking to Ayana about that last night. That was one of the mini conversations. And um, it's hard, literally. But you like see such good results with your life from it. So basically like every day for 75 days straight, I want to do something. And I want to do it. I don't know because my birthday's coming up. And y'all know a birthday is an excuse. I don't care what nobody said. A birthday is an excuse to live life exactly how you want to live, live it. Ouch. Exactly how you want to live it. On my birthday, I'm turning 21 and I want to be one of the girls who drink on their birthday. Period. But we had got on the topic because I said I wanted to eat healthy for a whole year. But mainly, because of course I can have your slip up days, but I've never had a full year. I've done six months of like pretty, pretty much eating like good. So I'm going to do a full year and I think I'm going to do it next year. Year. like only exceptions is if i'm traveling and i do plan on traveling more so we'll see because i'll be 21 and like i won't need id nothing i won't be scared to go nowhere because I, I, i'm of age for everything except getting a rental car they just don't give up they don't just don't they just don't give up and once i get that age it's gonna be fucking uh an exotic rental <laughs> so it really never stops but I don't know because next year I do want to do so much more. I'm going to be sipping on wine, but I probably won't be sipping on wine because wine still ain't good. So I don't really know exactly, but I know I want to eat better for the most part. Because like, I have pretty decent habits. Like I'm not a terrible 20 year old. I'm drinking greens every day. I'm taking supplements every day. I got two dogs that if I didn't feed them, they'd die. Like if you hear the words I'm saying. So yeah, and I am gonna renew this. I think I said that already in this vlog. Let me cut up my avocado, cause the avocado. He, I can't believe that man bought all bad avocados though. Like I really can't fathom. 
can't understand it. And I'm trying to, I be trying to compare which one works. So I know which one to eat today. This one is really giving worse though. I'm gonna go this one. Cutting cord. But yeah. Um, my life is pretty good. It's pretty together. I don't have many complaints right now. Um, we're working on e internal growth and external is like working out and stuff like that. But I just feel like that comes with with internal. So it's just like a given. Once again, brown. I'm gonna have to make sure it don't have that taste because that smells weird. But I ain't wasting my money, honey. Men, men just don't know how to grocery shop. It was a man who um who was shopping for me on my Instacart. I don't like the grocery store. I'll pay the extra because I'm saving time. Or I don't have to spend my time there so I can at least pay them for their time. You know what I'm saying? And I think I should just get groceries the same price I would have got them if I would have went. That's just, that's, that's, just, just, that's just not how shit works. Somebody else is doing it for you so they must get paid. If you want cheaper, get your ass up and go to the store. Because like grocery shopping is such a con for me. I don't like it at all. It's just not fun. These are the only two ingredients I've choked it down to. At first, I was putting a lot more things. That's because that's how I cook, but like, girl, this has a specific taste you want, and these two products is gonna do it for you. You don't need garlic powder. You don't need all that. Not chicken. I do wanna learn how to make steak. I've heard that it's pretty easy. My mom told me that, because this is like, it's like any other food. And cooking isn't really hard. It's just hard when you really don't know what you're doing or like what flavors you're getting. So when I first started like cooking things, I didn't know what, what certain seasons tasted like. But now I kind of have a way better idea. And now I know if I don't know, I can just taste it. And it'll be pretty similar to the taste of the seasoning itself on the meat as well. I'm learning about over seasoning and I rather under season so I can season it after. All of that stuff I've been, you know, doing and that's been helping. So, we're good. My toast is done on one side. I now flip my toast in the air fryer. At first, I just put it in there for five minutes, but then the bottom would be soft. So, now I do it on both sides, honey. And I put that bad baby back in there for another I'm gonna do three minutes on this side. And then, of course, the eggs takes two seconds. And then I just chop up some um, strawberries. And y'all, that's literally my everyday breakfast. I really like this breakfast. Um, I wanna get back into oatmeal, but I just haven't been making like the right flavor for the oatmeal. I'm trying to stay away from plastics. My body telling me not to use this, so I'm not. better and I'm learning to actually love myself this time. So once I, now that I look at it differently, I'm not really alone. I'm learning more about myself and that's great. And I'm not alone. I do have friends and I do talk to them and we do see each other. Like for my birthday, we'll be together and stuff like that. But like I don't even have any more pans left now. So I'm about to cook my eggs in this big ass pot right here. Don't shoot me. That should be busting. I steam my, my broccoli in the microwave. So it'll take about eight minutes to make, which that's easy. So that's what we got going on. And then I'm about to watch How to Get Away with Murder, most likely. Because that's what I'm feeling to watch. 
we inside and we're about to get so much work done. I gotta take my stuff to the post office because y'all know UPS clothes on them. So let me go over my day so that y'all kind of know what I do if I film it or not. So I gotta go to the post office to open up my PO box and also drop off three TikTok shop orders. Go to UPS and drop that off there right next to each other so that's not <clears throat> too crazy. I have a call at 2 p.m. Um, and then I have to pack up my dogs and go to my boyfriend's house because his friend edits my videos. So I'm going to give him my clips so that he can edit those clips. And then, what's that? That's tonight. And I also need to drop off my wig to Ava. She lives near him too. So go and do that tomorrow. I mean today. So that she has my wig so she can do what she do with the wigs. And then on Thursday, I'm going to go and help Unique with her room. I might spend the night. I feel like that just makes sense. Yeah, because I, why would I leave? I'll just stay in that. I just think that's better. And it's more bonding time. So spend the night. And then on Friday is when I get my hair done. So I have to go back over there. And I'd rather Ava take this shit out of my head for me. I don't want to take the cook weave out. So. I'm going to ask her because she take the quick weave out and shit like that so that my life can be easier. So that is what we're doing today. Nothing too, 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 too. This is hot, y'all. Because <gasps> I have it on 10. Watch. Listen to these eggs the way they about to fry. Oh, Serena, you are wrong. You are dead wrong. Now I found my new way of making eggs fast. That was fast. They're done. They're done. My whole breakfast is complete now. I just gotta put everything. Oh, gotta do my fruit. But yeah, y'all. That's it. So I'll talk to you guys later in my next task. Yo, my head itch. Hey y'all. So <clears throat> I'm in the car. I'm about to go to the post office first and I'm gonna go to UPS to drop off the packages and then I'm going to run to a grocery store or I don't know something because I need to get a broom for my balcony. I want a broom specifically for the balcony because I don't want to use my inside broom on the outside. That shit just sounds disgusting so we're not doing that. And what else I want I need to do? I think that's it. So I'm gonna come back home put my balcony together i don't know i may or may not do that today i want to because i wanted to create a short form video for it and i want to do it with you guys but the rest of my week is literally so my camera died. it's literally so booked up so i don't really know how that's gonna work but my camera will die and i could vlog on my phone i would just have to get reminded of the footage to be sent let me see if i have a battery I do have battery. I wonder if it's dead or alive. Hold on, y'all about to find out. We got a battery. We got a charged up battery. But yeah, I really don't feel like doing the thing today because because it's already 3:39. I want it to be at the house by five. That would mean that would mean leaving now. But I'm just now about to do my balcony. And that's probably gonna take like 40 minutes. Hopefully, it don't take too long because I gotta sweep it. Put down the bug spray and then I have to place the tile and all throughout this process I have to be filming it on my second phone for like my short form content and stuff and I have lots of short form content too that I want to plan out and put like where I want it to go like what calendars and I also need to come up with all new marketing plans all new marketing plan all new marketing plans so um that's all I gotta do. Let me show you that. Read off what all else I have to do today. Okay, so broom, bug spray. That's what I'm about to do now. P.O. box and drop the orders off. That's what I'm about to do now. And then living room. Well, well not living room. Patio. And then I gotta pack my bag because tonight I'm really just dropping off my, my footage. And then I'm dropping off my footage. And then tomorrow night, um, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go be unique. Hold on. So, um patio and then uh gotta get my hair done on friday the day after so all day tomorrow i'm helping unique at her house do her room so we're gonna have some other interaction in as well so we're gonna be, be at her house helping her do her room and then um friday <clears throat> friday all right now i'm in a pickle because 
I get my hair done Friday. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. So tomorrow morning, Unique House, help her do her stuff all day. I might just leave her house tomorrow instead of spending the night, like I was saying. But I might spend the night because my whole reason that I'm spending the night was that the next day I could just wake up and go to Ava's, which is closer to her than it is to me. But that don't mean I have to stay there all day. And like, what? What the fuck? Come? Oh, that's a telescope. I thought he had a bazooka. Because like, what else could I do tomorrow? Well, on no Friday day, I got other things to do. I don't gotta get my nails or anything like that done because this is the nails we have in the photo shoot, baby. At least I got them done. And then I'm gonna have my nails done for um, my birthday. So those nails, I don't know, but I'm thinking blue, bust that. I don't know, I want my nails blue though because everything's blue for my whole birthday all the time. I just love blue so, so, so much. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be something blue, but I don't know, y'all, because it's Saturday morning. I'm trying to do the photo shoot. Saturday morning, late, it's like 12, 1 p.m. doing the photo shoot on Saturday and then I'm done but I also okay on Friday day I could create what I'm supposed to be doing I'm supposed to be creating um this whole thing in my email list sign up for my emails y'all yeah, be gems in there I'm giving away a free content guide and stuff like that so most of my work is virtual so I could just do virtual work at her house I don't know we're gonna figure it out because I can really just go home I can go to my boyfriend's house again I don't know if we're gonna figure it out what we're gonna do but I just gotta pack my bag for I gotta pack my bag for tonight tomorrow Friday so three to three things I gotta bring my wig because I'm coming back home Friday night there's no way I can't because I have to get everything situated for the photo shoot so yeah I gotta pack for three days or three I don't fucking know y'all but y'all gonna see and I gotta get the dogs I'm gonna put the dogs in luckily for my birthday the B&B allows dogs so the dogs is gonna be with us so that's great all right guys that's pretty much it though and we're gonna have to drop these orders off my TikTok shop orders and my regular website orders so yeah all right, you guys, I got it. So if y'all want to send me stuff, I'm ready. We back. We back in action, honey. Now we're about to go to UPS. I don't need to get, I don't need to do all this. I just need to drive across the street, honey. I want some Chick-fil-A. I need to do a detox because this bad food has been craving me. If y'all like crave bad sweets and stuff and like all that, just do a real detox. Not a fake detox. I don't go to a tea detox from Walmart, no. A real herbal tea. Um, detox or a wormwood detox from like Amazon. What we doing? You let me go. Thank you. So UPS right here. Go in here. Dry these packages off. Get a broom. Who would have a broom, y'all? Do Walgreens have a broom? Maybe not. Who has a broom? Publix got a broom, so we're just gonna go to Publix. And hopefully Publix has uh, bug spray too, because it's all right here. Yeah, I don't feel like driving across across the world right now. P.S. Here we go, and I will be back right, 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 right back to y'all. Right back. And just like that, we are inside Publix. Alright, so I just need a broom, because I know they have cleaning sections in Publix. And hopefully they have bug spray. If not, we're gonna do the bug spray another day. Imagine they don't have brooms. Okay, let me look bug spray. Where is our cheap shit? Oh, no. Something cheaper than this is $7. Everything in here is high quality. Is this, is this $8? Look. This is already gone. They had a $6 one. Okay. Oh, wow. Alright. Or should I use the broom out of my house? For outside and buy a new broom. Indoor, outdoor, angle brush. I'm so, because if I do this one, I'm going to have to be on my knees and feet. Okay, we're going to do the, the $10. And we're going to see if it's good quality, then I'll use it in my house. And bug spray. I'm not seeing any of that. I see car stuff. Pet supplies. And beauty care. Hmm. Alright, so this is what we're going with. No bug spray today. We're going to get it off Amazon or something. And then we can spray the parameter later. Now, we go to the house. Right, so I'm sweeping and it's so dirty. I'm making my grill. So I will let you guys follow. Thank 
bugs everywhere. This is, this need to go in the trash too. Oh y'all, my dumb ass. This is my broom. The other broom is right there, so that other broom gonna be my new room. That's embarrassing. So when I'm done, we're gonna put the tile down. All right, now we're about to place the tile down and yeah. I'm done. I'm gonna finish it when I get back home. But I'm about to pack my bag for the weekend, kinda. I'm definitely gonna wear this again. So I'm just put it back on. So here goes a black top. Oh, and I feel I didn't fold up my other clothes, so I have way more clothes than I can see right now. But it's okay. We just need three outfits. So we got tomorrow's outfit. Friday. Wait, tomorrow is what? Thursday and Friday. Right? Or is today Wednesday, y'all? Yeah, today's Wednesday. So tomorrow's outfit, th fr Thursday. Friday's outfit. And I'll go home. So this and this outfit I'm packing right now. I don't know where my pants are. These do? I'm going to just wear my big pants with the same shoes for both days. Same bag. Easy peasy. I need some night clothes. I'm super hungry. It's five going on six, and I didn't eat since this morning. Yeah. Tonight, tomorrow night. Tonight, tomorrow night. Yeah, I could wear this onesie. Both places. Cause we need minimal. I gotta bring my hair with me. Let me go get my bag. Okay. So we got the outfit we got on right now. I got stuff in here already. Wow. Okay. I'll pack a third, this third outfit just cause. I think I got soap at his house already, so I don't really need that. I got a toothbrush over there. I don't have a toothbrush at me, so I think I'm going to bring my clothes back. Here go my phone chargers. And then let's go pack up the toilet bag. I'm so hungry, you guys. Because when the hair grow back, that's when you get them bumps and stuff. Yeah. 
And we don't want that. Boom, and then I need... Do I need to wear my makeup? I mean, I can't. He's in the cage still. Mm-hmm. We're not getting out till we leave. So you're literally going to go use the restroom. And then we got our drive. All right, guys. So I finished my hair today. Oh, not today. I lied. I finished my hair like a few days, two days ago. I was supposed to do my photo shoot yesterday, which was Saturday. Today's Sunday. And I'm doing it today. So I have to redo my hair. I have to curl it and stuff. But it's tonight. It's really late. It's at 9 p.m. And it's currently 10.42 a.m. So your girl is about to eat breakfast. But I went to my boyfriend's house to stay there for pretty much the rest of the week. After I got that wax on around Wednesday, I believe. Wait, no. When do I go over there? I think it's around Wednesday, but I'm uploading a video today. I got my video back from the editor. That's why I went there for to begin with. So I got my video back. I'm about to upload that today. Um, post on Instagram today. Do my photo shoot to do today. Post my Black Friday flyer from my Instagram today. And so many things today. I got my lashes in the mail to finally pretty much finish off me glowing up looking better and stuff so these are my favorite i did the vis for a little while but um i don't know i kind of like these better so i want to use these now i already have some of these in there but i want to get a new one a new style for the new look i'm doing so i got bo6 and bo5 d mix 208 clusters this is what they look like and I'm going to use hair glue because I like to use hair glue more than the, uh, the the bonding glue that they give you. I can't get it out. So, yeah, we're going to do these a little later. Yeah, my phone had died. So, we about to do our lashes now. Um, It shouldn't be too bad. I'm really... Where's my tripod at? Today is one of them days where I'm not feeling the best. And I like to feel good. I hate feeling like down and shit. Today's one of the days though, unfortunately. And making sure I'm okay. Talking to myself like self-talk. Because that's a really big part on um, self-love. So I'm really trying to tell myself like it's okay to feel these emotions and these ways. And you know, you are still loved. You are still important. Like I don't want to talk to nobody for real today. Um. I kind of just want to be myself, but let me get myself all right. Period. Sir, it's time to do these lashes, honey, and hopefully I get this done pretty fast. I don't know. Um, I'm about to use my circle mirror, and these are the lashes. I can't really, okay, I have to finally like see them better. Yeah. Uh, these are going to be real dark and bold. So I think I'm going to do BO5 and double them. But I don't know for real. I'm gonna use hair glue. Okay. I call it lash glue, but this is very much not lash glue. <laughs> this is hair glue. Yeah, I watched, I kinda watched this movie today. It was called I Believe in Santa. It was on um, Netflix. I was watching it on my phone. I fell asleep, but I, I think I get what happened. It was a pretty good movie. If you guys wanna start watching some Christmas movies, watch them on Netflix. Um, I'm really struggling with Netflix right now. I know it's happening to a lot of y'all if y'all don't live with y'all mama or don't live with the people that you got Netflix with. Like, I can't even watch anything no more. And it's so sad. I think I'm gonna do 16 at the end. Let me see what it's giving. And I actually went with the thicker one. Okay, so that's that. And let me look at the thinner one. How they 16s look. Yeah, I like these lashes better than that. This one feels more flowy. So yeah, I'm gonna go, <clears throat> I'm gonna go with the thinner looking ones. And it's not hard at all, honestly. I'm just going to um, brush out the lashes first. And lately I've been doing, well, I haven't done this in a minute. The last time I did it, I was doing both eyes at the same time. Cause I feel like it gives you the same look on both sides. So that's what I'm doing over here. I have no lashes for real. <clears throat> And I put the glue on the counter because y'all know, well, if you know, you know, hair glue is very, like, weird. It don't stain nothing for real. And once it dries, you can literally just grab it up and it just comes up. So, yeah. 
Um, I've showed you guys a million times in a million videos how I do this when I was doing it very consistently. But we're back again because um, I really want to look good. And the reason why I started like keeping up with myself again was to show myself like self love and just to feel my best self. Because when you look good, you feel good, and that's really true. But now my self love journey is more so within, and everybody needs a self love love journey. It is a lifelong thing. Hold on, guys. It's not like a okay. Well, I fixed it, and I'm. I'm happy and I'm whole now. No, it's not really that easy. Uh, for other people, I'm sure it's easier. For me, I don't think it's going to be that hard. Or it's not too, too hard. But I am having, like, the different days. And I've seen a lot of people say, like, you will have up and down days. You'll have really, really good days. And then you have really, really, like, what's going on days. Like, it's not a linear journey. So if you are going through the same thing as me, learning to love yourself and not rely on other people so much on happiness and love like you need to subscribe if you're not already and i think uh for the rest of this year like my main no next year my my main goal and really for the rest of this year is to hold on good It's really to um, love myself more and like master self love. Like I do really care about myself, but truly love myself. No, and I talked about this. I don't know if it was this video or not, but because I've been recording a lot of shit. But like I really tend to neglect myself emotionally, and it's so crazy. And that's what I don't want people to do to me. But that's literally what I do to myself. So it's like lately I have been my rock. No cap. Like I have been my rock about any emotion that I feel. It don't matter if I'm with somebody, they're dead ass in my face. Like, I don't rely on them to make me, what are you doing? To feel no type of way. Like, I sit there, I walk away from them and self-regulate. And then I'll come back and be like, hey. Because some people want to know what was wrong with you. So I'll come back and tell them and get their input too, you know. But it doesn't really matter too, too much what they say because I already self-regulated their nature. So that's what I was seeing in my, yeah, it was my last video. In my last video. Um, yeah. Or was that this? Y'all, I'm so confused with, like, what I'm filming right now. Truthfully, like, this video that you're looking at me right now, I didn't get my nose done in it, right? So it's not, like, no glow up shit. Glow up was last video. I think this video is supposed to be, like, within self-work, work and stuff. So we're gonna start back doing that. Even though this vlog's supposed to end. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I need to get my life together with my content. And I'm trying to get on um, my short form content way because I love long form and I'm definitely not going to stop giving you guys my week vlogs. But I definitely want to come through shorter on other platforms for the people who like short content. Because not everybody likes long content on YouTube. I do, but some people don't. And I want to accommodate all of my supporters. So catch me on like Ori, you know, on like TikTok and stuff like that. Because that's where the girls be. Mm -mm, this is wrong. Yeah, today I'm about to run errands for my photo shoot, for real. I'm about to go get the, well, can I tell y'all? Because I don't want y'all to know too much about my shoot. I don't want y'all to um, see it. Because my birthday is in like two weeks. Yeah, it's in two weeks now. So it's really soon. I'm so excited about my birthday, y'all. Like, last year was a flop. This year is not going to be a flop because I'm doing it every time I do my birthday it's amazing. Um, I would never have anyone throw me a party. Like, if someone wants to throw me a party, it was out of the kindness of their heart. I didn't ask or I didn't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had no clue it was going to happen because uh, uh, that was not, that's not my, that's not my speed. I like my birthdays to go the way that I want it. I want them. Um, my 20th birthday is my first birthday I didn't plan for myself since I was able to plan birthdays. Like my 18th birthday, I went to Mexico and it was so fun. That's how I know I like to do things for my birthday because get out of the toilet! This nigga is drinking the toilet water. Get out of the bathroom. Get out, Ori. Ori, get out. Get out. 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 Because what are you doing? Because what are you doing? Who told you to bring your mouth in the damn toilet and drink the fucking water? Nobody told you to do that. Oh my gosh, y'all. And I really want to get them in school. So these are my priorities. Because I'm paying for my whole birthday, my whole entire self. Literally. It costs so much money. And so, like, no one can tell me anything. Like, yo, you're going to do what the fuck I'm to do. Because I'm paying for it. 
No way, Jose. Like, I gave my friends a uh, complete freedom with my gifts. Because you don't have to pay for nothing else, honey. Nothing else at all. Nothing at all. But my birthday's coming up. And how about you need to post a Versace robe in her close friends? Because that's one of the gifts that I wanted. And was like, why is the words gold on it? Why would you post that in the table? Why would you do that as if I'm not a close friend? Now, I know that they were attempting to get me a robe, and now they cannot do that because I don't want it anymore. From them specifically, because I don't know what you're getting me, and I just feel like that's not, not fun. Hold on, what's going on here? Did that double? Hold on, there's a gap right there. These lashes are very like sporadic, if that's the right word. Like they're everywhere. So I'm trying to make sure that they, they're how I want it. And I hate when the shit gets stuck on my damn tweezers. I really do. Need all your loving. Uh. Okay, now let's get into the 12. So the inner is a 12. Because I did 14. As, I mean, 16 as the longest one. Sometimes I do 14. But so, yeah, we're going, we're ending it with 12. So the lashes are kind of giving big, but they're not too big. Not too, too bad. And they're not super thick either, as y'all can see. But they will be cute. And that's what matters. I want all or nothing. I need all your loving or nothing at all. Queen dropped an album and that's what I'm singing. That is All or Nothing featuring LMA. And I love it, if you couldn't tell. So I'm about to listen to that when I get in the car. But it's almost time for me to get ready. Like I already took a shower. My hair about to die. I already took a shower. I put my dress on. I got to do my makeup. And then I'll be done. I just got to do my hair and my makeup and drive there. So that's just going to take the moment because it's like an hour away. So I'll have two hours to get ready. I feel like I should leave here well, by 8. So I got to get ready at 6. It's like you have to have people like you really trust because friends do help you get through things too. Yes. Like she said, it's part of your self-love because it's like I'm having a bad day. Like I'm going to go hang out with my friend. We're going to go get some drinks. We're going to just get our minds off this shit or whatever. So yeah, I feel like that that definitely matters. And another thing is like making sure your friends on what you want. So for instance, like me and my friends lately, we've been going to like little conferences, little events about like um, one of them was with, I forgot the name of this. He's not really a preacher, but like he writes books and stuff. And that's got us all tickets to it. And it's like, all my friends enjoyed it. Like that was like a bonding moment for us. Aww. But if it was my old friend group, they would have been like, what the fuck would you like? like, was like, like oh, oh, hey, so it's really sad. Yes, okay. you have to, like all me and my friends are on the same accord right now. So all having right. people around you that's on the same accord really makes all the right. difference. Because my friend group last year, this time last year, like it was nothing but party, 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 party. Mm. But now it's like me and my friends, we can go to church together. Yeah, can, oh man. Can, like, <laughs> that's right. Right. Yeah, it's like yeah, a balance. So. It's like we can do everything together. It's not always just turn up fun. Like, when it's time to cry, we can all cry together. When it's time to pray, we can all pray together. That's good. That's that gets deep. deep. So that matters. Having the right friend group. The right friend group. Amen. I love that you said y'all could pray together. It's really important to have friends you could pray with. Yes. So it, important. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my oh, my God. God. Be a we, no, because I, I ain't going to lie. I had a, the last time she visited my house, it was so crazy because I woke up. For some reason, I feel like God wake you up at, like, in the midnight like it'd be, it be like three o'clock for me and like you ever woke up and you feel like all right guys so we all pinned up <laughs> it's really giving us photo shoot like for real so yeah that's what we're doing um i think i want to no i don't want to be a music video this year i, I want to get into like a modeling casting agency thing but like But yeah, I'm already done with my makeup. My makeup and hair. I knew it wasn't going to take me too, too long. It is 7.30. I have a whole hour-ish 
actually um it's like like uh 8 20 something was the latest time i could leave to be on time but i want to fix my eyebrow it's a little messed up right here but i do want to try my dress on and see what posing i want to do because i don't know but i feel really pretty i feel really cute eating it goes up and now i'm about to do my edges customizes my wigs because now when I put the wig back on it'll always lay the same it's just all about gluing it down if I glue it down good or what but I usually don't glue my wigs down I usually spray them down so because I enjoy really enjoy taking my wigs off at night um glueless wigs are my thing I really like them I don't really like to glue them to my head for real unless I have to if I'm like going out of town or you know, somewhere where I have to. I can hear them people music. Is that how my shit be? Cause we can have a contest. <laughs> Let me stop playing, I'm just kidding. All right, boom. Boop. So now we got it laid down. So we're done with the hair and things like that. And these ones on the back are hanging really low, but it doesn't matter. Too, too much i do want to bring my wine curler with me i never use the hot comb let me just do it you don't have to go oh you don't have to go through it it's just yeah i'm gonna bring my wine curler with me just in case and i already have my clips in my head so that'll be fine but yeah we're done this is how we're gonna roll and I ordered a 20, I mean a 30 inch wig, but I think this is longer than 30 inches if you really want to add the on for me. But yeah. So you guys, I'm just about to chillax. Let this bloating go down. And we're going to do a photo shoot. You guys will see those pictures on my Instagram for my birthday. Super excited about that. And that's pretty much it for me. So yeah. Peace out. Hey y'all, I'm back home. Chef's freaking kiss, y'all. That was such a good shoot. And I loved it. So now I'm about to plan out my week. Um, like a rough draft of it. Today is the 19th. Tomorrow is the 20th. Tomorrow I have a therapy call. Therapy 215. Um, I posted. My Sunday reset. I did my photo shoot, but I did not post my Black Friday. So tomorrow we're posting Black Friday. I have a call with Nala tomorrow. Um, Thanksgiving's on Thursday. Excuse me. I want to do a TikTok plan tomorrow because I don't want to get on TikTok. But I just don't know what exactly to post on there. I'm gonna do a TikTok plan and edit. I feel like that'll be good for me tomorrow. Um, Tuesday. Create content for business. I also need to create like a business plan. Create business content plan. Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, get dressed with me on Thanksgiving. And I got more things. Wednesday, I don't know, but we this is just kind of just a rough draft to get everything together. That's so what we got going on for tomorrow. And I think that's a good little thing to look at. And I'll add more as time goes. I'm making my tea for tonight. Because I am about to wind down. And when I'm at home, I have a pretty good habit. It's when I, who's calling me? It's when I leave home where it don't be. But yeah, guys, I will see you in the morning. Good night.